used to be there were people that didn't want to make it in society. You know, now with the economy, I'm not surprised to see anybody homeless. We have to chop wood so we can keep warm. A lot of people have made structures out of uh, whatever material they can get, uh, pallets, tarps. People have built something out of nothing. Not this is our house. Here. Big dog in front. It's our sleeping quarters. That's my bathtub. <laughs> Tent City has kind of given me a new hope in my life. I, I mean, I've been clean you know, for, gosh, eight months. I tell them, no, I don't want it, man. I ask God to guide me to be somewhere I can have a home get myself back together. I've been able to get a tankless water heater, propane water heater. Hopefully, the first part of the week, we'll be able to take hot showers here. When I had nobody, I could turn to the people in Tent City. Tent City's my family. We declared this morning at approximately 9.30 a state of emergency. We've got to find new land, because this is gone. We have 120 people who are scattered. Where the hell are they going to go? Water it first, guys. You're really going to need the water. I might have lost my, my home and everything, but I still got my family. Yeah, I knew y'all be. I know that you guys already know that there's an open seat on the Homelessness Commission, and there's going to be an election for the homeless community. I think it would be a good idea if one of you filled that seat. We're trying to keep Tent City open and uh, see if we can get as many people as much help as we can. This is important because it's the first time you've ever had a say. It's your chance to exercise your voice. Homeless, not helpless. That's the key. Six. We don't have wedding rings, but I'm saving up the money. I got about $72, $73 saved up for them. I didn't think it would have been this hard. To have some central place that you can go where the basics are already given to you it makes it a little easier for you to live and rebuild ourselves back up. It's, it's tough, but it's not impossible. I'm not about to stop to help people that are still out there. They still need it. And I'm pretty confident that's the reason God took everything from me and put me down there. We're not asking for much. We bleed the same way. We cry the same way. We got things that we would like to accomplish. If we could only get people in Nashville to realize we're people. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah.